Lapses in traffic management are spotted during the simulation of the Southeast Asian or Sea Games opening ceremony Thursday, November 14. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA says private vehicles were seen plying along the yellow lane, potentially blocking the pathway of bus convoys for delegates and officials during the event. On November 30, the day of the opening ceremony, a stop-and-go scheme will be implemented along the affected routes. Some will be accompanied by escorts, others by an ambulance and police cars. Contingency plans were also tested, like emergency response to a vehicle crash. The security task force team on site says the ambulance was able to arrive in 3 minutes, but a replacement bus did not arrive. The MMDA along with other concerned agencies will need to address these gaps in time for the SEA Games, which will run from November 30 to December 11. The Department of Health or DOH confirms the first case of e-cigarette or vape-associated lung injury or EVALI in the Philippines Friday, November 15. In a statement, the DOH says the patient is a 16-year-old girl from the Visayas who has been using e-cigarettes while also smoking regular cigarettes. The patient was admitted to the hospital on October 21 after reporting severe shortness of breath. Doctors initially suspected the disease to be infectious but confirmed it was Ivali after further evaluation. The 16-year-old patient has since been discharged but the DOH is still coordinating with their attending physician for updates. In the United States, the Surgeon General declared a vaping epidemic after complications befell mostly young e-cigarette users. At least 39 died and 2,000 fell ill due to vaping-related lung illness. The DOH is facing a temporary setback in its implementation of an administrative order that regulates e-cigarettes. A French tourist dies after falling from a waterfall while trying to take a selfie in Thailand. The accident happened on Thursday, November 14 at tourist hotspot Koh Samui. The 33-year-old man fell from a waterfall reported by police to be the same spot where a Spanish tourist died in a fall in July. Thailand is largely considered a safe destination for tourists and typically draws more than 35 million visitors each year. But the industry took a hit in 2018 after a ferry carrying Chinese visitors in the country's south sank last year, killing 47 people. The accident highlights lack safety rules in the tourism sector and authorities have been scrambling to restore the country's image since. In tennis, Roger Federer avenges his Wimbledon defeat to Novak Djokovic, qualifying for the last four of the ATP Finals with a 6-4, 6-3 victory on Thursday or Friday Manila time. Djokovic needed to win the title to have a chance at knocking Nadal off the top spot, but now Nadal is guaranteed to finish the year as the top-ranked player for the fifth time, tying him with Federer, Djokovic, and American Jimmy Connors. Federer finishes second in group Bjorn Borg behind Dominic Thiem, who also beat Djokovic earlier this week. Singer-songwriter Taylor Swift publicly reignites her battle with the heads of her former record label, saying it is threatening to bar her from going through with an upcoming performance and a Netflix documentary. Earlier this year, Swift feuded with industry mogul Scooter Braun over his purchase of her former label Big Machine, which gave him a majority stake in the master recordings of her first six albums. Swift says she would begin re-recording her early albums to create copies she owns herself. She says the contract allows her to begin redoing her first five albums in November 2020. But says Braun and Big Machine CEO Scott Borchetta are, quote, exercising tyrannical control over her. The two allegedly told Swift's camp she's not allowed to perform her old songs on television. Swift adds Scott and Scooter declined the use of her older music or performance footage for the Netflix documentary. Swift says, The message being sent to me is very clear. Basically, be a good girl and shut up, or you'll be punished. Music